Testing, testing. Sing work. All right, let's do it. I have XOM ticker, New York Stock Exchange, Exxon Mobile, 10 years worth of data, monthly candles. Let's see what's up with this beast. I always try to start off with uh, imagining the outers, the most outer resistance and most outer support. And then after that, uh, drill down to uh, more intermediate pa patterns within that. And there could have been support here, maybe eventually here, and closer support might be right where we are now maybe here so actually on this monthly candle we could be breaking down if uh, february's monthly candle closes below the 76.50 level if it stays be below the 76.50 level we might have a measured move down and the move would be the conservative move would be all the way down to 65 about 65 40 65 50 Might be some turbulence here, as we saw maybe right now some action came down. And as these wicks, uh, which this is a phenomenon I call noise, these wicks, they decided that there was action on the weekly and on the daily. You probably saw some candle closed in that area. But on the monthly, the price reverted back to close above what is now defined as the important uh, support line. So right now you see that this monthly candle has been working uh, through that uh, that support and there might be a little bit more here let's remove these cases and there could also be a case for this could be a descending one two one two three yeah Let's just be conservative and just take uh, the height to bottom of this uh, of the pattern here, and then just add that to that. I know with descending cha descending triangles, the target would be the height to bottom, but from the uh, the highest part of it and that would give us a more aggressive target further away target back all the way down to this wall here I call this a wall because right here there was a, a bottom pattern and eventually there was a breakout right here whoops Is that here right here there was a breakout on this candle this one here and now this resistance has become support and now the price action moved on it had fun and when we get down to here our target is i would probably move if i would to consider that as my measure move to this breakdown line i know the uh prime measure move from the chart pattern would be this one but for me to uh, um, increase my chances of reaching increase my probabilities of reaching that possible target i would actually Put my, I would actually uh, lower my target to be able to get profit stopped right above this congestion area here, this wall. Uh, it gives me a smaller risk to reward ratio, but um, I increase my chances to getting to my target, so that's better for me. Since when I, uh, I enter the trade, when I set my, my bracket orders, my sell stop and my profit stop, uh, I don't look back at the chart. I just move on to another chart. 
I want to make sure that I put everything, all the chances on my side to reach that target. You could always reach for the moon, but if you're always looking for that uh, one punch knockout, that Hail Maker, uh, Hail Mary, and uh, you're most likely not going to reach it, and you'll get burnt. It's like a professional boxer, uh, like a, they win with the jab, precise jabs, short to the point, and they don't go for those big loop, loop around the, the guard uh, punches. Those have less probability of, uh, of connecting. Always go for the small, small, uh, uh, direct, uh, high probability moves. And that's the thing, that's the same reasoning I try to apply it to uh, my charting. Get out right before congestion areas and get in right when there's a breakout. So you minimize your time in the trade and uh, you get to that target. What else do we have for Exxon? That's about it. That seems like a big top actually. But this is a, uh, I don't know if somebody uh, could say this. What I actually I would like is probably more candles here on the support area. Or eventually uh, maybe a trace here of uh, more candles and a rectangle, bearish rectangle, and then launch from there down to my target. But we'll see what happens. Candles are added and uh, time moves on. And the charts look completely different. One candle or two, and we seem to have a uh, a different chart. Do a right click, remove all uh, all trend lines, and just start over and imagine what it could be. That's part of the fun, right? If you really like what you're doing, then uh, it should be fun. Or else, if you're not a big fan or you're not a chartist uh, in your spirit then uh, you might uh, you might as well just not do it. You got to do it the best you can and always try to, to make them be better all the time. An example of that is if you don't uh, do it properly, then you might just uh, not read correctly the charts or you might uh, not be precise when you sell your sell stop. And then you'll just have targets that are way off that don't match really when you should be getting in and when you should be getting out and it's just like you might as well not do it and then just throw a dart at the dartboard and uh, and that's it all right so that's about it that was short but hope it'll be useful thank you see you next time bye <laughs>